Take a look at this disco ball. It's just like the one up there, only a bit smaller. Inside a disco ball is a motor, and that motor makes the ball spin round and round. Let's switch this one on. Ready? If you listen carefully, you can hear the motor whirring. It sounds like a soft purr, doesn't it? Disco balls are covered in hundreds, if not thousands, of tiny pieces of mirror called facets. Let's see if we can see the tiny pieces of mirror on the disco ball all the way up there. I've put my special camera on the end of a long pole so we can take a closer look. <gasps> up we go! There they are, lots of tiny mirrors. Can you see what shape the mirrors are? That's right, they're squares. When light hits a mirror, the mirror reflects the light back because a mirror is a reflective surface. But how do the mirrors reflect the light around the room? I think we need to take a closer look. A disco ball is made up of lots of mirrors. The top layer of a mirror is a flat, see-through sheet of glass. In the middle is a very thin, smooth layer of silver metal, and at the back is a black layer of board. When a light is shined straight at a mirror, it passes through the see-through glass and hits the metal layer. It reflects straight back because the metal is so smooth. But if we turn the mirror sideways, or up, or down, and then shine a light at it, it doesn't reflect straight back. Instead, it reflects at the opposite angle to where it hit the mirror. Because a disco ball is a round ball shape, every mirror that is on the outside is facing in a slightly different direction to all the other mirrors. So when one light shines at a disco ball, it reflects back from lots of different mirrors in lots of different directions, all at the same time. And that makes lots of small spots of light on the walls, the ceiling and the floor. Let's give that a go. I've got a mirror here. I'm going to switch the torch on. Remember, you should always be careful not to shine a torch directly into your eyes. And there you go. The beam of light is reflecting off the mirror and straight back. Look, can you see the spot of light on my tummy? So what's going to happen if I turn the angle of the mirror? Let's find out. You ready? OK, I'm turning the mirror. And did you see the light move? The light beam is reflecting off the mirror at exactly the same angle as the light hits it, just there. But this is just one mirror. What will happen if I shine the torch on lots of little mirrors on the disco ball? <gasps> That's right. The light beam from the torch is reflected off lots of mirrors at lots of different angles all at the same time. It's really pretty, isn't it? I think there's only one thing left to do, and that is switch it on. Ready? <laughs> Can you see the little spots of light are moving? And that's because the mirrors are moving, so the reflected light beams are moving too. <laughs> Shall we see what this looks like on the big disco ball up there? Look at the thousands of twinkly lights. So pretty, isn't it? 